umaga po sa ating lahat. Blessed Christmas po sa ating lahat. Kumusta po tayo ngayon? Sana po sa natapos nating 40 day journey ng ating purpose driven life ay ating pong nalaman kung ano po talaga ang ating purpose sa, sa mundong ito. So ngayon po matatalakay po tayo ng panibagong topic. So bago po tayo magumpisa, tayo po ay manalangin. Father, holy and mighty one, we praise and magnify you today. Patawarin niyo po kami sa mga nagawa namin na di kaaya-aya sa iyo. Salamat po Panginoon sa araw na ito na aming muli, na aming maranasan muli ang iyong kadakilaan. Comfort those who needs comfort today. Provide the needs to those who needs a provision. Healing to those who are sick and restoration to those who are broken. Ikaw po ang manguna sa aming devotion na ito. Kumilos ka po sa bawat buhay ng mga nanonood at nakikinig. May your kingdom come, may your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Nung ako po ay nag-scroll ng mga news na nangyayari sa atin, Marami pong hindi magandang mga balitang nangyayari sa buong mundo. Halimbawa, ang mga drought na na nag-start ng famine kasi pag may drought, hindi na po production, wala pong production ng uh, mga farm at iba pang mga um, farming. So marami pong namamatay na hayop, hindi lang hayop, mga tao rin dahil sa kakulangan ng tubig. Do marami ng tubig sa buong mundo, hindi naman siya naiinom. So doon po natin makikita na ang famine ay latak na latak na po ngayon. So nung mga nag-comment ang mga Christian, sabi na malapit na daw pong darating si Heso Kristo. Well, palagi po nating naririnig 'yon na malapit nang darating si Heso Kristo. So palagi po ta- dapat po ay tayo ay laging handa. So in the world filled with hardship, how can we have hope then? Kung sa mundong ito nang puno-puno na ay nataas ang mga presyo, may mga uh, um sarit-saring mga problema, paano po nating maranasan ang magkaroon ng pag-asa? So the answer in the same, the answer is the same today as it was 2000 years ago in Bethlehem. So let's read Psalm 130 verse 5. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his words I put my hope. So what is hope? So anyway, our topic for today is um, hope for holiday season. Okay, sorry. Hope for the holiday season. Since Christmas na, let's find hope this holiday season. Okay, let's continue. So, sabi niya ulit, I, will, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in His words, I put my hope. So, ano ba ang hope na palagi natin binabanggit? Sabi, ang ganda ng definition niya. So, the desire or anticipate with the expectation of fulfillment confident expectation so ang hope talaga is to uh, waiting with expectation so desire eh, talagang i-anticipate na natin na mangyari so as we wait for the Lord let us put our hope in His words so marami po siyang words in Lord as we wait for the Lord as we wait for His Um, glorious coming as we wait for the answers of our prayers as he wait for his perfect timing in our lives so we have to put our hope in his words habang tayo po ay nag-aantay yung mga kanyang mga salita ang siyang paghahawakan natin na hindi tayo mag-give up for example the promise I'm claiming is 
yung palagi niyang sinasa, nang sinabi niya sa John, ask anything in my name and I will give it. Yung po ang pinagahawakan ko sa mga prayers ko, mga desire ko, na sabi kong, Lord, palagi uh, sinabi mo naman na ask anything in your name and we will give it. So, yun po. Ano pa sa inyo po? Marami pa po akong pinagahawakan na promises ni Lord. One, isa, lang sa, isa lang yung sa mga yun. So, kayo po, ano po yung pinagahawakan yung promise ni Lord while you are waiting for the answers of your prayer, while waiting for His glorious coming, while waiting for His perfect timing in your life. So, no, no, for centuries, Israel had been hoping for Messiah. So, tignan natin yung mga Israelita na they really wait for the Lord. So, Israel had been hoping for Messiah. So, waiting for Him, expecting, expecting Him. Because God promised na pinanghawakan nila and He, uh, because God promised it, and he is faithful to all his promises. Yun po yung pinanghawakan din ng mga Israelita. He is faithful. Yeah. Faithful to all his promises. So still Israelites had been waiting for a very long time. So they are waiting for the very long time for that Messiah to come. So hindi nakapagtataka na marami din ang karamihan sa kanila ay tumigil na sa pag-aantay kasi matagal na from centuries ago and then hanggang ngayon nag-aantay pa rin sila ang pagdating ng kanilang Messiah. So dahil sa frustrations nila, they observe no longer the religious rituals. So marami tumigil na, marami nag-give up na, na. So many are devoting um, doubting, sorry, the many are doubting if the Messiah will come. So, na, marami na nag-doubt na, kasi ganun din, ganun din tayo oh, pag while we are waiting, tagal-tagal nang maansaran yung inaantay na natin yung nag-doubt will come na, nagda-doubt na tayo. Ang tagal naman yun. It takes years, days, months, no, years, and years, and years, wala pa rin. So, we began to doubt. So, that's, ganun din yung mga Israelita. They doubt already. They didn't notice then na yung Messiah is already there. The Messiah, na nandun, nandun na yung Messiah. So, they weren't looking for Him. So, talagang, they don't, they stop looking for that Messiah. So, it seems they have forgotten the, the simple truth Parang nakalimutan nila yung simple truth na that God is always at work. So, minsan nakakalimutan natin rin yon na simple na truth na God is always at work. So, habang tayo ay nagaantay at mula, mula bago pa natin ipinagpray yun, God is always at work. So while they were busy through Bethlehem, nalala nyo nung busy if you remember the story of the birth of Jesus Christ, so they are busy and the innkeeper uh, hoping uh, the, in the innkeeper was in Indiana turning away the very Messiah. So yung pumunta si Mary and Joseph para dun na mag spend ng night kasi mga anak na si Mary and that is the Messiah. The innkeeper turned them na hindi nila tinanggap. So, that in his very own eyes, andun na yung Messiah, makikita nila. So, they are comfortable, oh, like na, and then, and then the Messiah was born. Oh, in the, in the, tapos yung mga, ganun din po tayo, kung mga comfortable na tayo, wala na tayong hanapin pa. And then, the answer of our prayers is there already, na di natin alam. So, ganun din ang nangyari sa mga Israelita na hindi nila alam that the Messiah was born in a manger. So the question is, are we looking for Him? Do we expect to see Him work among us? Tayo ba, kahit ba sa ating pag-aantay, are we still looking for Him? Are we still expecting Nag-expect pa tayo sa kanya. So as Christmas approaches, 
we would be wise not to make the same mistakes. So as this Christmas approaches, then ang Christmas to make mistake people of Bethlehem made kung ano yung kas ano yung mistake na ginawa ng Bethlehem. So in the midst of business, kahit busy tayo sa holiday na to, kahit busy tayo sa pagbibili ng mga gift, mga preparations, we still not forget to focus our minds and hearts on Christ. The hope for this Christmas. So we must expect to encounter Him each day for He has promised. In Jeremiah 29.13, ang promise niya, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. If we seek Him with all our heart, we will find Him. That's His promise. So why can we have hope this holiday? Why, why we can have hope this holiday season? Because we will remember that God gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, the best gift we have. So let us seek Him as we search for gifts and shop for presents. We must remember it is God's gift to us that brings hope. Let us remember that God's gift, Jesus Christ, that brings us hope. And that's the, mean, that's the reason why we have Christmas, because of the birth of Jesus Christ, the one who will take away our the one who took away our sin and redeem us. So let us pray. Oh, merciful Father, promise keeper, we thank you for your words. Thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, there is forgiveness of our sins. He redeemed us. Thank you for your faithfulness and for the gift of salvation through Christ Jesus. Show your way, O oh Lord, that we are working in our lives and in the lives of those around us. Reveal yourself to us in a new way today. This we pray in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Good morning, Paul, and Merry Christmas to everyone.